Hi everyone. So this is my introduction video to having discussions, opening up the points, sharing, reading, learning from others when it comes to having been abused in some way or another through life, whether it's through childhood or through adulthood. And why am I suggesting this? Well, you know, we're talking about moments where we've witnessed people screaming or hitting each other, or where we were yelled at or screamed at by someone else, probably adults, sometimes other children. We're talking about when we've been hit or hurt, or even in other ways as well, which are also very damaging. So it's about opening up those points. All sorts of child abuse, abuse, whatever form you may think of, whether it comes with a smile, whether someone's really nice to you, and then they abuse you, or for them being nice to you, they actually make you, let's say, feel bad, because it's not about so much what's on the outside, but about the person, who they are, and what they're, who they are within what they're doing. So, the reason why is because when these things happen to us and we do not open it up, we do not reflect on it, we do not see if what it is and call it what it is and make a statement about who we are, where we stand in relationship to these kind of things. and align our words, our thoughts, our deeds, who we are within ourselves, so that we really live what's best for all. We really live what we would have liked to have received as a child or as an adult. Because if we do not do this process that I'm suggesting here to do, that I'm opening up for you to walk, if we do not do this then we will keep repeating the same abuses that others have done to us. Because what we do is we suppress what we went through. We hide it in the back of our minds, in the secret places. And then over time we act it out because we've justified ourselves in what we now do and what we think and what we see and perceive and believe and judge. Because other, someone else did that to me, so therefore I can do it to others. And this is how come we start getting irritated in our voices, we start getting angry, we start annoying other people, we start taking revenge, we start hurting others through our words, through our actions, through what we think. Whether it's with a smile, or whether it's with an angry scowl, it's still abuse. So, this process needs to be walked by everyone, because in some way or another, I'm sure we've all faced abuse as people, whether during adulthood or childhood, whether just witnessing it or being the recipient of it, it left some sort of scar there. It had an impact emotionally, and you remember it. And once you open up your memories, you will see it very vividly. You remember the details of what happened. And it may be things which, when you initially look at it, seem okay. It seems like something that even happens to you in everyday life. With people you meet in the streets, or your boss, or your co-workers, or your family. But is that really what's best? And is that abuse? What is happening, or what happened? And what is happening right now in your life? So these points are important to open up. So here I'm in inviting you to have discussions, do vlogs on it, write blogs on it, or if maybe you have private discussions with people you know, that's what's more comfortable. Or whether it's just by yourself, that by watching this video you have inspiration to look at yourself, reflect on yourself, write down your memories of what happened. 
and understand and see whether you're still, whether you've been living out that same point for many years with other people. And we will face things like fear, like emotions, like anger, like sadness, like depression, like irritation, like annoyance. Because these are traumas, these are things that happened. And this has been accepted and allowed as being normal in our society. It becomes normal to become angry at injustice, to want revenge, to want to see others in pain or suffering because they are evil. That becomes our way of life. Very violent, very aggressive, very divisive and destructive. But here we have a chance to change by opening up our own past, our own history, our childhood, and what is happening right now in our lives, and really being the solution, correcting it within ourselves, and standing as the support for everyone in this world. This, walking this process, this specific process will open up many doors for you. To be able to laugh again, to be real again, to to enjoy everyone again. Just like when you were a child, you viewed everyone as equal. As someone you would gladly laugh with or talk with or join in with. That is how we all used to be all of us equals equals in the eyes of children our eyes when we were children and over time through experiences we've changed and now it's about undoing the change and getting back to points that are real deep and sincere within yourself and all this will open up as you uncover your history, your past, the history that made you who you are, the history of man, the history of yourself. This is the really deep, scary, emotionally triggering, harmful stuff within you. It needs to be opened up and faced because the reality is our world is that place, is that aggressiveness, is that attackiveness, is that war. You will face such people again, people who will be bullies, be aggressive to you, attack you, even with a smile, even with pleasantry. They will do that. So you need to be able to understand how to actually continue to be who you are, a real, sincere, deep you, in the face of that abuse. And that starts by facing the abuse you already have, and the abuse that you're participating in, and understanding how you started participating in the abuse that you do to others, through understanding how it came about, through you, being abused and feeling those reactions, the energy, having that justification to attack others. And this is how we end the cycle. It will, it will require great bravery on your part, great honesty on your part, And as a result, through time, through your commitment, and dedication, you will receive a great freedom of yourself. And you will do it by your own hands, by your own spirit. So, let's do this. We all want to be great people, right? 
we all want to live in a great world, right? So to get those things, we need to walk what hasn't been walked, to face what hasn't been faced, and change what hasn't been changed, finally. For everyone and for ourselves, we do this process. Thank you.